Hey guys, you're watching Adventuring Art. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Uh, for today's adventure, we are going to head to the car wash. Yay, that sounds like a, I know that sounds like amazing, uh, an amazing adventure. Um, depending on time, I might end up going out to the lake. And uh, there's a lake over here. It's a, it's a really overcast day, so there's not really a lot of warmth and sun. Right now it's about 50 degrees even outside. Uh, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot and maybe see some ducks, look at the marina, look at the water down there, and just see what there's to offer. But thanks for joining in, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this video started. One of the joys of living in a uh, train town is well, a town where there's trains, being a train town. Um, you can see, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see off in the distance, but if you look right after that curve, they're building a bridge, and then way on down to the right, um, near where those parked train cars are, that's where the stoplight is. It's about maybe about a mile away, but we're just all stopped right along here. So, um, yeah, yeah, we may inch forward an inch, but yeah, Saginaw, Texas. Thank you for your trains. We love them. All right, so I'm here at, I'm here in Saginaw. I ended up not going to the lake after all. Uh, excuse the highway noise. I'm right next to a busy road. But um, so here in Saginaw, there's a couple things I wanted to show. Uh, well, first off, I wanted to introduce you to Silver. Hi, ho, Silver. Um, this is my truck. So let me uh, flip the camera around here. As you can see, it's a Nissan Titan. And from you can tell, just got it car washed. However, the automatic car wash left a little dirt there for me, but that's okay. For the most part, it looks nice and clean. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's a busy, a busy road here. And uh, here's the back end of the truck. And there uh, you got it. All right. All right, let's go back this way. Okay, so flipping it around. Um, so over here in Saginaw, this place is, I'm, you know, I had moved here about probably about a year and a half, two years ago. And from what I've gathered, this town was a town that was built for kind of like a commerce hub where you'd have trains and granaries and things like that where people would fill up the, the trucks with grains and, and just a lot of, uh, rails to switch out uh, tracks from one track to the next but um but yeah so here i am in uh saginaw i'm actually kind of in the, the heart i'm actually right next to the the old train station figured i'd show you that and some of the rail cars and maybe the uh some of the granaries here so if you look right behind me you can kind of see them uh you've got the one back over here uh if i pan over that way then the way back there and then there's another one. She's the fast panning there. And there's one way back over there, uh, right behind the train station here. So kind of like right here in the middle of all these granaries. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the, the trains and see what's, what's around this area. All right, I'm right here by the entrance of the train depot. And I saw this cool little, uh, it's like each brick has is, is memorializing. You got the Chamber of Commerce. Um, there's one for the city of Saginaw. Pan on that way, you can see a, a, several more that are out here. Trinity Industries, Ventura Foods, and I saw this here. It says the old Chisholm Trail. This trail post shows the approximate location of the Great Chisholm Trail as it left Fort Worth, headed north through Saginaw onto Decatur. And then Red River Station into Oklahoma, Indian Territory. It, like other Chisholm Trail posts placed across Texas, mark, mark the trail that makes its way across Texas through Oklahoma and on to Kansas. So, uh, I guess this is the... What is this? The, uh, the Chisholm Trail. So this is the marker for the, the Chisholm Trail area. So this is like a cool little platform. 
I guess when, if you'd hop on the train, you, you would just walk on this platform and hop on one of these rail cars. But uh, I guess these are, I wonder if these are like passenger cars or, or what they are, but they got big glass windows, like a bay window that you slide open. Um, and then back over there, there's no like way to get up there, but uh, back over there, it looks like there's a, that's where you'd go, come out, I guess with your tickets and hop in on the train. But you can tell here, you got this green one. I would not assume that they were green back in the day. And then you got this big yellow one that says Rio Grande. Rio Grande and then uh, looks like it's a little red caboose yeah it is so you don't you don't see very many of these anymore these days uh, caboose but um, yeah pretty cool it's got like a little like a roost at the top I, I don't know what you call that like a chicken coop or I, I can't think of the name but uh yeah, you can see, pretty cool. And that's probably like the little bell you'd hear dinging at the end as it would pass. But, um, but yeah, all in all, pretty cool. And uh, as I previously mentioned, there are the granaries. You can see them there. And then over there, you got Atterbury, Atterbury, Attaboy, Atterbury grain. And then you got the trains. So it's always busy with the trains. I see at least three sets of train tracks. One, two, three. So this is kind of like where they're switching out and they, they go over there to the granary and load up with their grain and then take off. Um, I would assume that's still the case these days uh, as it was probably, I mean, these things look like they've been here for a hundred years. And it looks like we might even get to see a train. Let's see if we can uh, see what's going on. See. Now I heard it, so maybe it was just teasing us. But um, anyways, trains around here come about every five minutes. Every five minutes, you'll have a, you have to wait for a train when you're stopped at the stoplights that cross these train tracks. So, um, but yeah, just figured I'd show off a little bit of the trains and a little bit of Saginaw, Texas. Um, not really much more that I can share. It's a very small town as far as like things to do there's no like skyscrapers or anything like that it's all um just smaller businesses you know again population about 50,000. and um yeah saginaw is known for its trains and its granaries um they have some nice parks in the city uh, uh several nice restaurants uh modern restaurants um and then uh but yeah that's it so i'll go ahead and end the video at this point hi ho silver away well, there you have it. Just a quickie today. Just testing out uh, filming in Saginaw during the day. And, well, I just wanted to close out the video. So I want to thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave comments down in the section below.